Good afternoon, folks. Hi, Phil McPhail here with United Country Lifestyle Properties, Maine. Welcome to the Hills of Carroll. What I'm going to show you today is a opportunity to own a mountaintop retreat property consisting of 575 acres. We've got a couple of miles of internal road, nearly a mile of brook frontage, and best of all, we've got the top of Getchell Mountain behind me. So we're located in the town of Carroll Plantation, population 138. George Varney in his 1886 Gazetteer wrote that Carroll is generally hilly, yet susceptible to farming and with soils that are actually pretty fertile. And to be honest, that's what we see here in the hills of Carroll. Even up here on the mountaintop, we're amazed that we don't have too much exposed bedrock. We have quite a bit of soil. Those of you who have driven across Route 6 from the town of Lincoln to Topsfield on Route 1, have come through Carroll and you've probably been amazed at the beautiful views of Bowers Mountain, Vinegar Hill, and Getchell Mountain that we're standing on right now. These three mountains are just off the south side of the town of Carroll near the town line with uh, Lakeville Plantation. From this location, the nearest gasoline and convenience store is about six and a half miles away in the village of Springfield. For more services, the town of Lincoln, one of the largest towns in Penobscot County, is about 26 miles west of us here, about 35 minutes from this location. The city of Bangor, Northern Maine's largest city, 75 miles south of us here. That's about an hour and 25 minute ride from here. And Boston is 309 miles, just under five hours drive. Folks, we're standing here now on a brand new road on this 575 acres. The owner has built this up here over a thousand feet, nearly a quarter of a mile just shy of the peak of Getchell Mountain. And we're kind of facing easterly here, looking at views of both Bowers Mountain and Vinegar Hill off in the distance. We're gonna take a quick hike and see if we can walk up to the peak of Bowers, of Getchell Mountain and see if we can see any other views there. Not sure we're gonna, we're gonna take you up, show you the peak. If we got views, we'll show you those too. Well, folks, we hiked up to the peak of, of Getchell Mountain. And unfortunately, or it depends on how you look at things, fortunately, there's too many trees up here for us to get the view to the south that I was hoping for. If you've seen some of the drone shots, you'll realize that from the top of this mountain, if you cleared enough trees, you'd be looking down onto the lakes in the West Grand Lake chain. And it would be an amazing, beautiful view to the south. We're gonna leave that up to you if you wanna come up here, continue that road up seven or 800 feet and uh, do a clear cut here, a few acres, you probably get a great view. Just to show you where we're at, hopefully the camera will pick this up. Blue dot, this is Getchell Mountain here in the middle, you can see the contour lines. That's our current location right there on the southern peak of Getchell Mountain. Folks, now that we're up top of the mountain, we're gonna walk back down to the pickup and take you around, show you some more of the land. Uh, what you're gonna see here is primarily early successional hardwood forest. Uh, this property just had a timber harvest, a, actually a pre-commercial thinning more than a harvest to thin out the thickness of it. Um, it was cut, I think about 25 years ago, and this is the next harvest, uh, pre-commercial thinning. You'll see it's extremely well stocked with young hardwood trees. Most of the lot is hardwood, except the land along the two brooks, which we'll show you a little later, does have a mixture of some softwoods in there. So let's continue walking down the hill. So talking about the hill, let's talk about the elevations here. We're at uh, 1,020 feet above sea level right here on, at this location. Uh, the low point of the lot is around 500 feet of elevation. So we do have pretty substantial elevation change. Beautiful topography here, gorgeous piece of land. And the soils are kind of a complex mix of sandy and silty loams for the most part. They are steep, as you can see on the contour map, and somewhat rocky. So farming, it's not ideal farmland. However, the soil types that are here will grow very well as long as you clear the rocks, the trees, and you find a place like here that's a little less of a slope so you don't have too much erosion. You could garden this, no problem. Food plots for hunters, no problem. Uh, you know, overall, pretty good mix of soils. Okay, folks, we're gonna take the pickup and take a ride down to, Barker, uh, to Getchell Brook. We're gonna show you one of the two brooks today 
We've got time to see this one, uh, Barker. We don't. If you come up here and look at the property with me, be happy to hike you over to Barker Brook and show you that. As we drive down there and over this brand new road, I am going to tell you a little bit about the area. If you look at the map, you're going to be amazed at how much water we're nearby. We're near. Uh, we're just north of the Grand Lake chain of lakes, which includes West Grand Lake, Sisla Dobsis Lake, Junior Lake, Scraggly Lake, Pocumcus Lake, and I could go on. There's a whole bunch more smaller ponds and lakes that feed into the St. Croix River system. Much of this has been preserved thanks to the Down East Lakes Land Trust's efforts of conserving a lot of this land from development. So if you want to take a boat just down the road here a piece into Lakeville, launch your boat into Bottle Lake and go down into Junior and eventually down into Grand Lake, you can do canoe trips, boat trips for dozens and dozens of miles. And there's tens of thousands of acres, actually hundreds of thousands of acres that are conserved in this area. One of the other benefits of being around here is if you like trail riding, ATVs and or snowmobiles, this property has pretty much direct access onto those trails. And you can ride groomed and maintain trails for hundreds of miles all the way to the coast of Maine. And not, uh, not to forget, we're, we're a very short distance from New Brunswick, Canada. Um, I personally like to vacation there. I do quite often. We're literally less than an hour from the border crossing and you can be in Fredericton, Canada in about two hours from this location. So, you know, even down the Bay of Fundy, another hour and a half, you can see some of the highest tides in the world. We're over here at the northeastern side of the lot where the road, Moose Road, comes in from Brown Road that accesses the property here in Carroll. And at pretty much at the very beginning of the property right here, we're only on the land for about 200 feet and we've got a gate. So if you want to close off the road system here, you got a big heavy iron gate with some uh, pretty impressive cement blocks already in place. Put your own padlock on, all kinds of security and privacy once you're in on the land. All right, we're walking in off the road into Getchell Brook. And this is a beautiful little stream that's carved a pretty deep ravine down through the property here. Uh, let's see if we can make our way down there without breaking our necks. Uh, might be easier said than done. I'll tell you what, I'll let the cameraman hang out while I take that birch tree off the side of my head. If you've watched my videos, you know I always warn don't lean on trees. That would be the reason. Just be thankful it was one inch and not six inches in diameter. So down here we got some beautiful ledges and a crystal clear brook that's running. This is the 1st of September. We haven't had a lot of rain. That water is ice cold, folks. Beautiful little stream running through here. Obviously, this is going to be the lowest. You're going to see the water probably. Uh, spring runoff, you got a, or probably a raging torrent through here. But nice high banks on both sides of the stream. If you want to poke a driveway in off of uh, Moose Road or Buck Road, you come in here a couple hundred feet, get some nice privacy in the shade of these big hemlocks and uh, beautiful spruce trees. Gorgeous, gorgeous prop part of the property. Barker Brook is the other brook and it's over on the northwest corner of the land and there's about over 2,500 feet over there. We've got just under 2,000 feet on Getchell. So we're gonna walk down the brook a little, little further, take a look around, show you guys some of the scenes. Hey folks, I've walked down Getchell Brook here, probably 800 feet or so, and I think I found my happy spot right here. This is beautiful. Sitting down here in the creek bed, stream just babbling away behind me. What a beautiful spot. Great big tower and hemlock trees, ledge rock on the edge. And this is a postcard. Thank you for taking this tour with me today. If you'd like, please like and share the video and hit that subscription button down below so you don't miss our next video. Let's wrap this property up. We got a price on this 575 acres here at the top of Getchell Mountain of $575,000. The property has a couple miles of interior road. We've got nearly a mile of frontage on this brook in Barker Brook. We've got incredible elevations from 500 feet to over 1,000 feet. Great area for hunting, fishing, recreation, growing timber, really good soils for that. 
If you got any questions, you can give me a call at 800-286-6164. Ask for Phil. Be happy to bring you out here and show this, show this property to you today.